A southern Indiana naval base opens up a state-of-the-art complex for the Armed Forces' continuing strategic mission for defense. News 10's Matt Gregory joins us live in the studio to explain what Crane's expansion means for the Wabash Valley. Matt? The Crane Naval Base today cut the ribbon on a more than 50,000 square foot facility to expand their work on the naval defense weapons, including the nation's nuclear deterrent missile. Now, as with most stories regarding Crane Naval, a lot of the information is highly classified, but today their Naval Surface Warfare Center opened the doors on the new Strategic Weapons System Engineering Facility. This new facility will consolidate their engineering for some of the nation's defense and deterrent weapons, meaning all of the engineers working on these projects will be in close quarters working on weapons that keep the nation safe from airborne attacks and nuclear strikes. That includes one of the most vital weapons to our nation's safety, the nuclear warhead Trident missile. This facility's upgrade cements some, uh, Crane's rep importance in defense plans for a very long time. It also uh, cements our role in the nation's strategic discernment force. So they're looking not only now, as uh, Captain Wolf said this morning, but also how to sustain the system out to 2082. And Crane will be a very significant piece of that. Currently, Crane's engineers continually test and provide support for the Trident missile system to make sure if it's ever needed, it will be at 100% success rate. And the expansion of Crane continues to mean big things for our economy. Last year, Crane brought nearly $1.7 billion into the Indiana economy. Back to you. Thank you, Matt.